the newly handicapped, the once whole young men who have come back from Korea disabled. These command as much attention from Helen as did their brothers in the Second World War. Then, as now, she and Polly tramp the endless corridors of our military hospitals, bringing hope to the amputees, the blind, and the disabled. Meeting Helen, seeing what she has made of her life, gives them more courage to reshape their own. For her services, she was cited at the close of World War II. Then the leader of our armies, later the leader of the nation, Dwight B. Eisenhower, welcomed her to the White House and thanked her himself. Helen Keller asked the president if she might have the privilege of seeing him. Afterwards, of his face, she said, I felt the courage and thought that carried him through such great years of the world's history.